Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. No introduction needed. We've got Ben here with me today. Thanks yeah, for coming yeah. on. Thank you for having um, me again. Today is a slightly different video. Um, we've sat down this morning to do almost like a podcast questionnaire type. So today is going to be more of a pod and play. Pod and play? Yeah, pod and play. Asking questions about, you know, just, just trying to get to know you better and then for us to learn. Yeah. Okay guys, we're at the uh, on the Legends course here on the Mornington Peninsula down at Moona Lynx. Kind of a nice little Par five, a bit of, bit of trouble on the right. I'm hoping Changi hit, sneaky hits one out of bounds on yeah. the right there, but I'm just going to pump one down the middle, and I should be able to knock it on in two here. So uh, here we go. Good luck, Ben. Thank you, mate. Play well. Thank Enjoy. You. Enjoy yourself. Oh, that's really straight good. Straight up the middle, mate. Straight up the middle. I don't think I've ever missed yeah. a fairway playing oh with you. God. Good drive, Ben. Thank you, mate. Yep. That was pretty good, I must say. Be the ball, Chang. Be the ball. Then who's swinging? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come on. Straight up the middle, man. Oh, I put the out of bounds in his head and he's hit it straight left. Is that out of bounds? No, the right was out of bounds, but I think you've tried to avert that and you've hit it straight left. I tried to hit a cut there. That's a, that's a lost ball, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He'll be re-teeing the boy. Yeah, it's not looking great. What were you playing? Titleist 4. Yeah, you're here. Safe. You got lucky. Luck increases the better you get. Ben, it's yes, good man. to have you back on my channel. Yeah, nice to be here. You've had a great season last year. Well, no, actually not last year. Some of it last year and this yeah, year. Yeah, last year and this year, yeah. 29th in the order of merit, and you played amazing in New Zealand. And I'm just glad to have you back on my channel again. So yeah. thank you very much for coming yeah, out. You're so welcome. So a lot of golfers can relate to this question, but as a nine to five working weekend golfer, what's the best way to utilize their practice? Uh, mate, to be honest, um, if a weekend golfer was was to have coaching or lessons, that I would I would get you coach to ask you for uh, some dry drills yeah. to be able to produce when you're at home, basically after after work um, in front of the mirror if it's dark yeah. late at night or you have a uh, a mat or a net in the garage or, or outdoors that you're able to uh, hit balls into then fantastic but you can also you know by doing dry drills or, or mirror work. You, you can really kind of benefit from that. All right, Slumpy, par five, second shot. All right, I found my first ball. He's in okay. trouble. No, it's all right. It's not too bad. I got a shot. I could actually go for the green here. But... Oh, please. You've got about 300 left. <laughs> Just going to lay it up. Yeah, beautiful swing. Nice action there. It's all right. Oh, well, maybe. All right, Slumpy, we got 240 into the wind. It's a long way, and it's uphill. I don't think I can get there, but... I'm going to give it a nudge. That See ball if... looks like it's sitting on a tee there, Ben. Yeah, it's on an upslope, though, into the wind. It's going to make it go higher, but I'll just give it a rip, mate. We've got nothing to lose playing against you. It's a... Just your tour card and pride. I'm going to take it. away your card. If... <laughs> Had a go, but it's short. The wind's got it. That was such a good it's strike. It's safe. I'll make birdie from there, mate. Don't worry. Ben, that was still such a good strike. All right, 120 metres to the... 125. Got... A wedge should be hitting a nine, but I've got a pretty good lie here. It's gonna jump off a bit. I think I have to rip this one. There's no way he's getting this here. No, no chance. Just get up, get up. Sure. There's a nine iron, wasn't it? Yeah. <sighs> I ripped it. Gave you a bit of commentary. I was like, there's okay. no way he's getting this there. <laughs> got a little 50 meter shot here. Just knock it close. Oh, a bit long. Sit down, honey. Oh, a bit long. That's crazy. A bit long. Ben I'll... didn't even use a laser, and it's actually 50 on the dot. <laughs> wow. Mate, I've played golf for that long. <laughs> That's pretty good. Not bad. Is that good, Ben? Is it good? Are you happy with that one? Oh, yeah, it was a good shot. But oh, thank you. Not, you guys still got a putt. But, you know, because he's got such a high expectation. All right, a little left to rider. Oh! oh. How did that miss? I'll have to see that, Ben. Somebody's on Slumpy's side today. Slumpies. You're not seeing that. That's good, surely. Yeah? <laughs> good, good. 
<laughs> oh, please. I don't miss these, mate. Look at that. Half. Oh! Ooh. Okay. Oh, easy par. Oh, I pushed that one. Ooh. No, no, no. I pushed that one. Oh, no. I pushed that one. Oh, no. I pushed that one. Oh, no. One down. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, that was no. not good. Oh, no. Probably. Who's... who's Taking this, who's, is ben will probably hit every single shot first. I'll hit every shot first. Why? Because you always beat me every single hole. I just wanted to hear you say it. Mate. <laughs> That's all. Okay. We've got about a 300 metre par four here. I can knock it on. Changi will be about 50 short, but slumpy. All right, let's go. Oh my God. That's... On the green. That's it. That's it. Ooh. Oh, a bit short. Ooh, hit right in the upslope of the green and just stopped. Wow, that was dead straight, Ben. Yeah. Good drive. Thank you, mate. Should I even be surprised? I work pretty hard at it, let's be fair. That is true. All right. Same thing? Yeah, just knock yeah. it on. You can, All get, right. you can get it up there. Do you think so? Yeah, 100%. Thank you. Oh, shot there. Nice shot there, Slumpy. That's beautiful. Straight up the middle. Thank you. I saw you played with Grace uh, yesterday, another golf influencer. Yeah, I did. Did she hit it past you? I I don't know if you guys can actually see it. I hit... I don't he hit, hits it long. I'm I, just I joking. I don't I'm hit just, it that short. I'm joking. I don't hit I'm it as far as Ben, <laughs> but I don't hit it that short. I'm teasing, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. We know the difference between a great golfer and an average golfer is short game. Yeah. This person is a 19 handicap and wants to know, should I practice more on his short game or long game? Um, good question. I think as a 19 handicapper, you're, prob you're probably most likely not the best ball striker in the world. Um, no. Most likely. 19 is not too bad though. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm off a better plus six, so I've got 25 yeah. shots covered, mate. But it's, a, it's not great unless you kind of have a single figure handicapper. I'd say you're a pretty average golfer. Basically, I think maybe, maybe a 50 50 ratio on a long game, short game. Um, again, having the ability to understand what your swing produces, um, be it with a coach or watching YouTube channels and, and, and gaining access through videos like yours. But um, at the end of the day, the golf game is made up of two different kind of games. There's the long game and the short game, so you need to practice both. And I'd say at a 19 handicap equally. Um, yeah, it's hard to say what's more important because yeah. Yeah, it's easy to minimise the number of shots it takes you to get to the green. Mm -hmm. But then again, if yeah. your short game is horrible, then it, yeah, it just defeats well, the whole purpose. Well, most all my clients or people that I've met over the, over the years, uh, they all think their short game is fantastic. Yeah. Um, and they all want to better their long game and hit the ball better and not hit it in the trees because they think that's what uh, leads to their poor scores. But uh, in reality, when I ask them how many putts they average around, they say, they probably, yeah, we'll do, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, or two to three a hole, and yeah. uh, they duff a few chip shots and can't get out of the bunker, and et cetera, et cetera. So um, you, you kind of need to get need to get good at both, realistically. I hope that answers the question. You just need yeah, to get 50 50. Yeah, yeah just yeah. work, just yeah. be better yeah. in every be, single category. Be, be, better at, <laughs> be better at both. All right, uh, second shot just came up short of the green. I don't know if I got Ben now. Nah, ben probably, yeah, Ben easily carried me. My, mine flew up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huge backspin. <laughs> uh, Got to get this up pretty high. Oh, good shot, a bit long, but that's all right. It's Safe. on the green. Safe. Happy with it, yeah. Thank you. I don't think Slumpy's ever seen this shot right here, but this is a weak grip, open face, open stance. I did a video on it the other day, Ben. Oh, you did? Oh, no, oh, I didn't. Oh, no. He'll do one tomorrow after I've done this. Right, and then we'll release our hands under, get it going nice and high. Landing really soft. That was a tough shot. I played it okay, but I've still got a birdie putt, but it's not great. Is it it's on the green? It's inside Slumpy. It's just off the green, but I'll just putt, oh. I'll just, I'll putt it up. And it wasn't the best Are you shot, happy no. with it, though? No. No? no, okay. I was talking and carrying on, but trying to give an instructional lesson, it's not, it's not easy, is it? No, it's not. Can't do two things at the same time, can we? No. Before you're around, should yeah. I spend more time on the putting green doing putting and chipping or go to the range and hit balls? Sounds like if you only had about 15 to 20 minutes rocking up to the club before your tee shot. 
Um, if you had 15 to 20 minutes, it's probably pretty difficult to um, go to the range because you'd, you'd have to walk there and buy mm -hmm. range balls, etc. So um, I'd spend maybe 10 minutes doing um, some form of stretching or dynamic warm up, which is kind of a, you know for your, for your your gym buffs out there, just kind of getting your your body moving, um, doing stretches where your body's kind of moving and getting your hips rotating before yep. you, before you're hitting a shot. Mm -hmm. Best way to do it, you probably see back in the day, uh, Miguel and Angel Jimenez and those guys you know using clubs to kind of um, get their their body functioning in the in the correct manner um, right best way to do it just grab two or three clubs make it heavier for yourself and get the All body right. moving because you can't change your golf swing on the day right so nah. there's no point going to the range trying to fix your swing but more using it as a yeah. warm-up right? I mean ideally if you had an hour to mm. go and practice beforehand yep. then fantastic you can do all of it um, like I would I I get there an hour and a half before so then I'll, I'll not only warm up and stretch then I'll go and uh, putt and get a feel for long uh, my short putts and then I'll go to the driving range hit balls work through my bag go and chip and then go back and putt but uh, you guys you don't all have the luxury of that so if you have 20 minutes you 10 minutes just warming up the body, grabbing a couple of clubs, getting that firing, and then 10 minutes maybe uh, hitting, hitting three or four, five, 10 sh chip shots, and then yep. and then uh, getting a feel for the green speed for that day. Was the green slow or fast? I couldn't really tell. Uh, it's playing it around, what did you say, 10? About 10. Yeah, 10, yeah. 10 on the what? On the, on the stick. <laughs> <laughs> the stimp meter. Stimp meter. About 10 on the stimp meter. Oh, cross hand, I like that, Slumpy, that's good, go! Oh, a little slow, but that's all right. <sighs> can't be good at everything, mate. You can't be no. Australia's best con golf content creator and a good, be a good golfer. And good at putting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it just Have you noticed, I never share anything on putting. It shows why, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe you should. I wouldn't mind a few putting tips here or there. I've gone cross hand lately. I think I find it's helping me. Oh, I've smashed Ooh. it. I've smashed it. Okay. You're making me look bad on your channel, talking to me while you're trying to... I'm sorry, I'm Ben. To that's, my, that's kind of my tactic, actually. Is it? Yeah. All right. Uh, this is quite straight, isn't it, Ben? Yeah. Left or want, right? It's straight part if you want to miss it left. It's so. a straight <laughs> part if I want to miss it left. So it goes right to left. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Does it? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does it actually? Right half, I'd say. Right half of the hole. I tricked oh. him. I tricked him. No, I just hit it too hard. <sighs> you trusted me. Yeah, good putt. Go. Thank you. This is not looking good for me, is it? That's right. I'll give you that. Really? Yeah. Okay. You lost the hole. <laughs> You're too down. Good putt. Good putt. That's right. Next hole. Yep. Next hole. So we've had a conversation and we've got about 165 to the pin. Good conversation, wasn't it? Quick conversation. <laughs> it's into the wind. I'm just going to hit a little chippy five iron because it's really quite windy. Yeah, it is a bit windy yeah. now. I've kept it low. That shot trace is going to be a bit of fun because it's gone oh. <laughs> straight, straight left. Straight it's going to be a hard one to the... I'm two up after two, so I'm, I need to give you a chance. Got five iron. More like a full swing. Still a bit windy up there, so... Knock it on the green. Thank you, Ben, I will. Oh, that's a nice strike. Cut. Yeah, this must be something over there. We both hit it over there. No, oh, well. Oh. We'll get it up Didn't and really down. come back, did it? We'll get it up and down from there. Yep. Easy. Easy. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Not too bad. Good Just touch, Ben. Drifted a little right. I'll take it. Not as good as Ben, chipping off this hard lie. Oh, that's good, Jay. That's nice. Oh, nice stroke. Oh, oh. quick. Right next to mine. Well it's done. not really tapping, is it? Well, it just shows that putter is an option. I think it's a little right to left. Yes. You've definitely got, it's definitely uphill. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Putt, putt. Thank you, Good lab. Putt. Good putt. Thank you. I like your strokes looking nice. You've switched to the cross hand as well. Yeah. Um, honestly, it changes. I forget what. Yeah, I forget what grip I'm using. You forget. So I just get on the day, and then I just go. Oh. You forget just... what grip you're using. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it all. I've heard it all, ladies and gentlemen. 
Yep. There's a bit of pressure on that. Can't have great party. Can't have Slumpy beating me. No, you can't. I'm two over. I mean, Catching up. Even par. All right, we've got a short par four here. There's bunkers. You can lay up, but I'm feeling... We're not uh, going to do that today. Nah, I'm feeling good. Feeling good today. I'm just going to bomb one down there. Oh, I've hit it good. Is nice that good? High, nice high draw. That could be on the green. Oh, good shot. Thank you, mate. I smashed that. Alright. Sounded good. Straight. Yeah. Straight's all you can ask for. Alright, uh, came up a bit shorter than Ben, as expected. He's a big boy. Um, <laughs> aren't you, Ben? I'm not that big, mate. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice shot. Oh, great Run little out. shot. Great little shot there, Thank Slumpy. You. Need to get inside that. A zippy one, Ben? Mm, just a little normal one, mate. Just try and get it inside you. Andrew's running around on the camera. But I've... Oh, get in, oh. get in. Oh, Nearly hold it. Nearly hold it. Yeah, you've worked with him enough now, Ben. Yeah, you get away wait for him. <laughs> mate, it's hard, it's hard. <laughs> I know a lot of golfers don't realise just how important mental game is to their game. It can either make or break your rounds. So can we dive more into the mental and the negative thinking, the downside of having negative mindset on the course? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, mental, the mental strength, and as you know, through watching all sports, is, is imperative um, to, to playing well. Um, to, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't necessarily matter what at what level you're at. You still need to think positively when you're when you're over a shot. Um, I think I, I studied psychology um, at one point in time to try and better my own um, understanding of, of my brain instead of sp um, spending five hundred dollars an hour on a sports psychologist or whatever yeah, no. to, to, to tell them. To, <laughs> not to worth sell. it. Yeah. No, no. Um, I mean, golf coach is worth it, but maybe yeah. not the sports psychologist. There's a lot of book, good books out there, Bob Rotella and things like that, that delve a, a little bit more into the um, into the mental side of it. But it is very important because um, our brain only has the capacity to think of one thing at a time. Um, basically, whether it's good or bad, you're better off thinking of something good. It's mm, going to uh, yeah. it's going to equate to a better golf shot. Yeah, and the biggest thing would be for someone like a weekend warrior mm -hmm. is to have I guess less expectation I yeah. feel like they go out there maybe practicing once a week and then yes. they play on the weekend and they get so frustrated with their game but they need to realize they only practice once a week so yeah absolutely expectations a big thing the best times I've played well is sometimes when I have low expectations I mean you can play well with high expectations as well but if you I think confidence uh, my belief of confidence comes from seeing the desired outcome um, previously so if you're not able to produce a good shot because you don't practice or you don't get uh, coaching then you are kind of in a, in a tough mm. tough predicament come the weekend yeah. when you're trying to be in a positive mind frame. All right, bro. What do you got? You got, got a little birdie putt little here. little left to right up, up the hill. I'm not too sure. No. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the slope at it's around right 7.2. It's right to left. Bro. Is it? Yeah. Okay, thank you. No worries. And I'm not going to trick you this time. Oh, that was beautiful. Thank you. I might have to get one of those lab putters. What is it, $8,000, Scotty Cameron, not working for you? No. <laughs> no. I'm still one up on you, though. I'll knock that in. Oh, are you give me that? Yeah, I'll give that to you. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. All right, one up. This is when things shake for Ben I've and never, for me, too. I've never shaken in my life. <laughs> All right, well, on the fifth hole now, I'm one over. Got the honour, Ben. Sorry, right, mate. I have the honour. Blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. So you get... This won't happen it again, nice, so... It was a nice birdie you made. It was, Thank you, Ben. It was a great putt. Got a seven iron. I'm just well going to hit it nice and... Bin to win. Oh, that could go in, legitimately. Oh! 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 That pitch mark will be very close to the bit hole. bit thin, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a bit thin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're going to what? I'm going to take your scorecard. 
Mate, you're kidding yourself. If you were in the tournament, you would be that nervous that you wouldn't... I would shank and top every single you'd shot. You'd probably make eight on the first. I mean, and to be good, fair... You're a good golfer. Like, you're a fantastic golfer, but tournament golfer yeah. is different. And I'm the opposite. I can't play unless I'm in that pressure situation, which is not to say I'm a better person. No, 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 you, no. But no, just no. over the years of playing yeah. on tour and stuff, it's a different, different... But when I stand over the tips, the black tips, where the pros play, I look at the hole and it's just a completely different hole. Yeah, it can be Because it just looks so intimidating because it feels yeah. so far back. Yeah, it can be like that. I'm interested to know this too. What is the process of becoming a tour player and how hard is it to keep your tour card? The process of becoming a tour player, um, now I did, I'm 37, I did this when I was 18 years old. Basically, you need to be, and, and I might, may be wrong because uh, it may have changed, but you, you need to be off, I'd say, a scratch handicap or less. Um, you then, uh, uh, you then enter uh, what they call as uh, qualifying school. They generally have, for the Australian tour, um, for example, they have um, two stages of that. So the, the first stage is conducted uh, kind of with several locations. And they're probably, I'd say, give or take 100 guys at each location and then top 30 players from that then qualify to get to the final stage which then there's um, 100 plus players at the final stage made up of the 30 from each location right. plus the uh, 51 to 100 from last year's Order of Merit that missed out on keeping their card. All the players qualifying for this mm -hmm. are, you know, not your average golfers. Some of them are ex-professional golfers as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, 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 100%. Yeah, they all, I mean, guys that have either lost their card or they've, they've been a professional uh, several years ago. Myself, I stepped away from the game for three or four years um, yeah. and came back and, and did it um, again myself. So there's guys that, you know, have competed once before that you've and then all these fresh new kids thinking they can get a tour card they've got to compete against, it's pretty difficult. Yeah. Ben is honestly one of the best players that I've ever witnessed and oh, had a chance to play with. And Thank if you. he's saying it's difficult, then yeah. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> it's, yeah it's tough, it's tough. <laughs> yeah. Stop trying to put me off and I want to hit some good shots. Go. Is that going to go? A little bit. Oh, oh, it's on the front. It's a little bit into the wind, huh? Come on, Ben. Change Just get it in. Flag. Slumpy's up there. He's looking good in his white pants. Oh. Oh, had the good line. Part. Had the line. A little bit short. Slightly grey, actually. It's like a... The pants. Yeah. Oh. What's, the, what's the company you're wearing? Oh, uh, Lululemon. Oh, the pants? <laughs> yeah. The Hazard Hunters. Oh, the shirts, Hazard yeah. Hunters. That's nice. I like the logo on that. Do you? Yeah. Wait, I'll ask them to send you a... Is it like a dog or something? It's a wolf. A wolf. Oh, nice. Yes, sweet. How's it, Hunters? All right, left or right, downhill. Thank you for the line, Ben. You're welcome. Oh, get out of there. You can't be making two birdies in a row. Ooh. Oh, good try. <sighs> you know what? I'll give you that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Generous. Thanks. I'm feeling good today. <sighs> Come on. I'm hanging in there. You're closer than our last match. Thank you very Thank much, you very Ben. very nice to play with you. I have to say, I'm a lot less nervous less playing with ner you this round. Less nervous. Yeah, the first time, you know, because that was the first time meeting you. Yeah. I was so nervous. I'm intimidating. You right? are. Yeah. Intimidatingly <laughs> good looking. Oh, please. Back and through. Yep. That's why you're on tour. You say that in your head. Back and through. Is that a trick? Yep. Back and through. Yeah. Takes your mind away from what you're doing. Really? Yeah. All right, we're on the sixth hole, 435 meter par five. One over. That's longer than that. It's about 470 or something. Is it? Four, yeah. It's 470? Four, 490 okay. maybe, 490. 470. Wow, that's long. No, it's not. It's short par five. Is it? Yeah, come on. Okay. Come Just... on, Slumpy. Drive a, drive a five iron for you. Is it? Yeah. All right, I'm yeah. going to try and hit a draw here, okay? Eagle time. Sounded good. Is that going to reach that bunker? The far one? Yeah. Oh, nah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good drive, man. Thank you. He's swinging it nice. Go over the corner. Good shot, man. Not the best shot I've ever hit, but it'll play. It sounded weird. I hit it out of the toe, yeah. Oh. All right. 187 to the pin. Big drive. Big drive for a small fella. Ben still got me. It's just a few meters ahead. 
a four iron. I'm gonna hit this one because it's a bit windy. Oh, I tried to hit it. Oh, shot slumpy. Bit Come right. back. Sorry. Oh, that's good. It's on the green. Tried to launch that one. We got 174, left to right wind, par five. I got a five iron. I need to hit a good shot. Let's make an eagle here. Oh, I've hit it nice. There's well, a big bank be, on the left. That's that gonna, could be good. Yeah, that's going to kick down. Perfect. Oh, good shot. That's going to kick down to the right. Good shot, Ben. Thank you, mate. Okay, so this guy is a 28 handicap weekend warrior. Mm -hmm. I practice maybe twice a week at the range. How can I get better? Uh, well, first of all, get a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> from a, get from a, um, a, a qualified uh, golf professional, I'd say, um, yeah. that, that kind of knows what they're talking about. But if you had a lesson from a coach yes. and you practice twice a week, is that enough to slowly get better? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. If, like we talked about earlier, if you incorporate some dry drills or or, th or things of that, um, you know, it is, it is you are able to get better two, uh, from two days a week. I kind of equate it to um, going to the gym. Uh, if mm. you if you put in um, two days a week, you will grow some muscle, but it might take you a long time. Um, yep. If you went five days a week, then you're gonna, you know, see. See, more results. More results. Yeah, so no excuses. Nope. No excuses. Nope. I've got an important putt here. Ben and I both have an eagle putt. Ben stuck it to like six feet. Amazing, amazing goal from Ben. I've got to get this close, get back down, get back down to even putt. What's the trick for laying up, Ben? Try and hold the putt. Oh, okay. Yeah, visualize the ball going in. Oh no, he's left it short. Oh my God. Oh. <sighs> Pressure. I don't want to blame the putter, but could be Ben. The lab putter? Yeah. I'll have it. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, good try, man. Good try. I'll give you that. Good, good par. Thank you. Three putts. Three putts always a shame, but. Yeah. Come on, Ben. Eagle time, baby. Eagle time. Let's roll it in the front edge there. Right in the middle. Oh, no. Oh. Short. Birdies are birdie. You can't leave eagle putt short, but... No, you can't. Actually, Grace said that. There's always one rule. You never leave an eagle putt short. Every good golfer says that. Oh. <laughs> ben, I promise you I didn't make up this question, okay? <laughs> All right. This person wants to know, are you single? I must... <laughs> <laughs> That's nice of them to ask, <laughs> and it's nice to know. It yeah, was, it was nice to I know. I did not stuff. make this up, okay? <laughs> and so it's very flattering to think of, but um, no, I'm married, mate, um, to Catherine, my beautiful, beautiful wife, and she's uh, she's currently 34 weeks pregnant. So congratulations. Um, yeah, either going to have a we don't know yet, but a baby boy or baby girl within the next probably three to six weeks. So. Jesus. Yeah. So with your tour life, your online coaching, on course coaching, then you've got the little tacker coming along. Yeah, mate, a busy boy. That is going to be crazy. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, trying to practice and, and do, uh, you know, do gym and do my own thing. Oh my God. And then get taken and swept away by guys like you to do things yeah. like this. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm assuming the kid's going to be a golfer as well? No, no I don't. Yeah. But maybe not a golfer, not a professional. I wouldn't want to push yeah. them down that path because it's quite difficult. But to play golf, yes, absolutely. It's a, sure. it's a great sport for anyone to get into to you know, help them with business or something like that. Maybe have them, have them on my channel one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. That'd be good. Yeah. <laughs> it was nice to make another birdie. Or oh, my only birdie of the day. Just missed that one, Ben. Don't no. bring it up, please. That's all right. So how many up am I now? A couple? Two up after six? Or three, yep. up, three up after six? Three? One under, two one over. Two up. It's all right. Catching up, Ben. Don't worry. 370 metre par four. Oh, and he does that. that was Good nice. drive. Thank you, mate. Straight up the middle. Yeah. Oh, it's playing, perfect. A, playing a long way today into the cold yeah. wind. Straight over the left edge of that right bunker is perfect. Okay. Does it open up a bit on the it right? It does on the right, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. When it's breezy. Swing it easy. Swing it easy. Yep. Oh, I didn't swing easy there. <laughs> I think oh, I got a big, so, I think so. I got a big slinger next, don't well, I? It was a big slinger, but you're all right. Okay, this is something that I'd love to talk about, and definitely something everyone needs to hear. Uh -huh. How often should I be getting lessons? 
That's a good question. Like I was saying before, if it was, you know, if I was trying to sell my business, I'd say three times a day. But uh, yeah. but realistically, studying psychology, I learned that it takes probably five to six sleeps to to let your the things that you're using in your conscious mind to then seep into your subconscious mind, which is a difference of thinking and not thinking, I suppose. I like to tell my clients one to two weeks so they have the time between seeing me to let the the things that I've taught them in that lesson, mm. they can go away, work on those, and then the next time they come, I'm not working on that thing because it, the golf swing seems to be kind of like um, piecing puzzles together. Yep. And if, you ha if, if I give that person the one puzzle, puzzle piece and they, they've still not got that puzzle piece in, I can't really give them the second one, so they're wasting their time and, and money, right. uh, re realistically. I think I just gotta go through there. I don't know, somewhere out there. Yeah, over the bushes. Yeah. Ooh, hit that great. It just, it's on a good line. I think it'll be all right. Can't really see. So it'll be yeah. just short of the green, I'd say. Need to hit a good, nice little close wedge here. 110 mm. meters. I'm not bad, huh, Ben? Not it's, too bad. Let's focus, yeah. Oh, that looks really good. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Looks good. I think it's pin high. Yeah. All right, managed to find my ball just here. Wasn't actually a bad shot. The ball's sitting on top of this grass. Really good. I'm gonna have to send this up there. Oh, he's gone the flop. Oh, that's really long. Oh, look at that spin. Is it that's, spinning? Oh, it's span. It's a bit long, but it's span. <sighs> so this person said, I keep missing putts inside three feet mm -hmm. and get very shaky with my strokes. Yeah. Welcome to what the is, club. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best way to approach these short putts inside three to four feet? Uh, I, I, I did just approach it. I had a friend the other day who um, he used to play uh, professional sport and I asked him how he thought about hitting, hitting short putts and he was uh, trying to replicate his practice stroke and fearing missing the hole. Now the best way and, uh, and the simplest way I'd think of it in a psychological manner would just be to visualize the ball dropping in the hole and have nothing, no other thoughts other than that and allow your body to kind of put you into that function. Um, as if a lot of people get caught up in worrying about missing the hole or missing the puck okay. um, and then that leads to obviously your, your body manipulates in a way that your mind tells you. So. Mm, that's what that happens to me all the time. <laughs> yeah, mate, I've missed a few in my, in my life. <laughs> yeah, so. And it probably costs you a lot of money too. For me, it's just pride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, had a, I had one putt uh, in the New Zealand Open that cost me $45,000. Oh yeah, my so, goodness. Yeah, not that I did it on the last few holes, but it yeah. was it was in the period of the day, but it was... Um, yeah, that yeah. could have been an extra couple of clubs for your kid. Yeah, wouldn't it? a few nappies. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, I'm just such an average golfer. I oh, know, Ben. <laughs> you're right. You're better like, than... You're I'm better such than, an average golfer. You're better than average. You're oh my God. A, All right, I got a part part. Left to right. Just visualizing it going in. Oh, that was a nice roll. Get there. Go. The greens are a little slow today, aren't they? They're beautiful though. Ben, this oh. is for two under. I need this one. Finish off with two birdies in a row. It was a nice wedge shot in there. I'm seeing this putt straight. Oh, Ooh. good putt. Pulled that, but it's ben. stuck in. Good birdie. Thank you, mate. Thank you. My heart really stopped good. for a second. You're so good. Thank you. This is really good. There you go, Tim. Oh, that worked. Good putt, Slumpy. Worked. Good job, man. Good. Thank you, Ben. Mate, you're so welcome. That's going to be our last hole. Ben, two under through seven holes. Yep. Two over for me. Just oh. the usual. Four two over's not bad. Yeah. No, well, oh, it was windy. Yeah, that's true. Well, Ben, always a pleasure and an honour to have yeah. you on and Thank playing you. with you. Thank you very much for coming Thank you, out. Mate. Thanks for having me on the channel. I know you've got a lot going on right now. Yeah, um, busy boy. Baby coming soon. Yeah. Oh, not me, my wife. <laughs> yeah, my wife's got a baby on the way. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you, Moon and Lynx, for um, having us out and letting us film. Yep. Amazing course. Yep. So glad to be playing on the open course today. Yeah. Uh, Legends? No. The, the Legends course today. Yeah, the Legends and it's course. a pleasure for me to be a part of Moon and Lynx and yeah. being an ambassador here and stuff. It's great Absolutely. to play. No, this is awesome. When's your next season, Ben? Uh, we don't have any tour event, most likely. There's one in August, but generally they start in October through to March. So I have a bit okay. of an off season yep. um, to kind of do uh, my coaching and work on my own 
personal game um, and get better for, for next time. Well, good luck, Ben. Thank you, man. And I'll see you on the other side. Yeah, that's it. I'm not Thank sure where. <laughs> Which side? <laughs> the other side of what? I'm not sure. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>